I am requesting everyone to please stand for a prayer and may I request Marie Antoinette to lead us the prayer. The name of God is our Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Mathematics is engaging. Students here are all amazing. Let us do a magical learning. But before that, let me greet you a good morning. Good morning, class. How are you? Very good that all of you are fine. Before you sit down, kindly pick up some pieces of paper under your chairs. Arrange your chair into straight line and sit properly. Okay, now let us check your attendance. Who is the secretary of the class? Okay, so Miss Morada, may I know who, who are absent today? Okay, very good that all of you are present today. Give yourself a round of applause. Okay, let us review our lesson last time all about. Who can tell everyone what was our lesson last time? Okay, Joseph, what is it? Okay, very good. Our topic last time is all about algebraic expression. And what is algebraic expression? Okay, Jericho. Very good. Algebraic expression is a combination of numbers and letters with sign of operations and grouping symbols. And now, our topic for today is all about defining polynomials. But before we start, let me give you an inspirational quote. Math may not teach us how to love or subtract hate, but it gives us hope that every problem has a solution. It is true, right class, that every problems or challenges that we face, math teach us that it has a solution. So, keep fighting class, padayon. So, here's our learning objectives. Number one, differentiate a polynomial from a non-polynomial. Second, determine the degree of a polynomial. And lastly, identify the type of polynomial based on the numbers of terms and or degrees. So what is polynomial? A polynomial can be expressed in terms that only have positive integer exponents and the operations of addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So for you to understand class the polynomial, here's the three examples. First, 2x squared plus 6x minus 9. Here, the addition and subtraction are used and the positive exponent. Next, negative x cubed plus 9. Here, it's okay to have a negative sign here. And it's not okay if negative box exponent. So here, it is a positive exponent. And last, 8x squared minus 5x plus 6. Then the addition and subtraction are also used. So 
So, class, do you understand now the polynomials? Okay, very good. If you have any questions or clarification, class, you can freely raise your hand if you have a question. And now, let's go to if the term is written with a negative exponent or has an operation of division, it is considered as non-polynomial. So, for you to understand a non-polynomial, I uh, give you an example. So, 2 over x plus 2. It is not polynomials because divisions of operations are used. Second, 3xy negative 2. So, it is not also a polynomial because there is a negative exponent. And lastly, square root of x negative 2. It is not also a polynomial because square root are not. So, for you to understand plus the polynomial, here are the organized polynomial. 5x squared plus 2y minus 7. 5 and 2 are the coefficient. x and y are the variable. The squared are, you know, the exponent. And the positive and negative sign are the operator. And 7 are the constant. Okay, class, do you understand now the polynomials and not polynomials? Very good. Be ready because we have an activity later. But before that, let's move on and back to naming polynomials according to their number of terms. First, the monomial. In algebra, a monomial is an expression that has a single term. With, vari with variables and coefficients. For example, 2xy is a monomial since it is a single term. Has two variables, which is x and y, and one coefficient, which is 2. And now, number 2, binomial. In algebra, a binomial is a polynomial that is the sum of two terms each of which is a monomial. It is the simplest kind of sparse polynomial after the monomials. And last, the trinomial, a polynomial with three terms. So for you to understand class the monomial, binomial, and trinomial, let me give you an example. Monomial, it is one term. Remember, monomial are one term. Example, 2x squared. Next, the binomial. Remember, it has two terms. Example, 2x squared plus 3x, 1 and 2. Next, the trinomial. It has three terms. Remember that. And it is an example, 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. Okay class, do you understand the three? The monomial, binomial, and trinomial? Okay, very good. Let's go to degree of a term. The degree of a term in a polynomial of one variable is the exponent of the variable. If a term has two or more terms, the degree of the term is the sum of the exponents of all the variables in the given term. So, for you to understand the degree of a term, here's an example. So, the degree of a term is an plus, is a sum of an exponent, right? x squared plus y. So, the degree of a term here is 3 because x squared, y are, y are, has a 1 exponent. Next, negative 6. It has no a degree of a term because it is not a variable. Next, 4x squared, y squared. So, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. And last, 8y raised to 4. So, the degree of a term here is also 4. So class, do you understand the degree of a term? 
Okay, very good. Be ready for our activity later, ha? So, let's go to a degree of a polynomial. So, the degree of a polynomial is the highest degree of the terms in the polynomial. Example, 4x cubed minus 2x plus 7. The degree of the polynomial is 3 because 3 are the highest degree of the terms in this example. Okay, class, time's up. Pass your paper forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, class, I hope you got a perfect score. I will check it later. For me to know that you understand our lesson for today. So, for the assignment, for our next topic, define the following. Square of products, square of binomial, and a square of trinomial. Okay, class, that's all for today's lesson. See you all on our next meeting.